on Homeworld. The moon surrounding uh, by Cronus we all know has fallen apart because of uh, over mining and uh, uh, use for uh, power. Uh, that was established in uh, uh, I think Star Trek Generations, the film, uh, the Next Generation film. Um, so, Hail Kronos Prison. So you're the one with my prisoner. Congratulations. We've captured him many times, but no one has ever actually gotten him as far as Kronos before he escaped. He's quite the prize. Beam him down directly to the prison here in First City, and we'll make arrangements for the prisoner transfer. Kronos Prison Facility out. Right. This is a Gorn, uh, one of the uh, subject races of the uh, Klingon Empire. Uh, Beam down prisoner. The prisoner has been received. Right, so we're going to beam down to Kronos ourselves. The prisoner has been received and muzzled. Typical human, in love with the sound of his own voice. Oh, some stuffy bureaucrat tried to reach you here. Word about your... Promotion has traveled fast, it seems. I suggest you present yourself to the High Council and get the formalities out of the way. I am near the Great Hall. The Chancellor is not far. I am going to check. And as you can see, we have a very helpful guide path here. Again, this is part of the tutorial, but it's part of the story that's setting us up. So let's just run with it. into the great hall and even though we have councillors there we've actually got to go around them to present ourselves report to Chancellor Jumpak there he is the hero that brought us a Federation prisoner the warrior who saved the Segpa the rightful heir of a starship by right of personal combat you have done well to start your career. I will be keeping an eye on you and your progress. Kapla, Chancellor, it is an honor to command a ship under your leadership. Now, before you go flying off to find your adventure, there is the matter of your duties as a captain in the Klingon Defense Force. First off, there is the matter of Lieutenant Doran's husband, Her Parmach. It is your duty to inform him of her death, as you are now her superior officer, even in death. I will inform him of, uh, of her passing to Stovakor, Chancellor Jampok. We will find Chagrin, Doran's Parmark, working at the exchange. Right, so, off we go, and the guide path is back. We won't always have this, I promise. Warriors die, but glory lives forever. They're interesting folk. Um, yeah, we'll just do this one. In all fairness, it is less likely that the character I've chosen to, until he became ship's captain would have been here. Yes. And we have a Ferengi. Now they are, they're only in it for themselves. Ask Farm about Chagrin. Greetings! I am Farm. A fully certified banker and financial investor. What can I help you with today? Where can I find a Klingon named Chagran? Chagran? Oh, right. He's one of the maintenance engineers. Make sure the exchange computers are up and running. 
last I knew, he was running diagnostics in the warehouse located in the back of the exchange. That is all I needed, Ferengi. One more thing. As a first-time visitor to this exchange, you qualified for a free sample of our fine merchandise. You won't find better quality anywhere on Kronos Warrior. And if you like it, feel free to come back. Like the Grand Nagus always says, the only thing better than a first-time customer <laughs> is a repeat customer. Fine, there better uh, be no strings attached to this gift. Uh, and I'm going to... Yeah. Stay to how I was, even though knowledge of what's behind the door... I'm not going to use it. Enter the warehouse. And yes, I'm taking my crew member. Not that I have any choice at this point in time. What is that? What happened to you? Nausicaan smugglers. They must have known I was all alone in here. Ambushed me. They're pirates. Robbing the exchange. Someone must... Stop them. I'm... Too injured to... I'll deal with these pirates. But when I'm finished, you and I need to talk. Right, so... Should grenade it again if I could. Quite well. You've given me time to recover my strength. But now I must find Majorog and put an end to that miserable Takex treachery. Who is this Marajak? Well, tell them, Shagreen. Who am I? Majorog! You're nothing but a smuggling Yenta! No. Wrong as always. One who's going to kill you. The new warrior never lets his prey escape. You dare to challenge a warrior of the Empire? Oh, I'm held there by that attack. And we got him. And we've been given some armor. Not particularly effective armor. Right. You I said. I got to admit, I do like using the uh, battler. Speak with Craig and. You said you had something to tell me. I am Captain.
captain of the IKS Pandark. I am here to inform you that Lieutenant Doran Yorparmach has entered Sovacor. She died valiantly in battle. I understand. She was a true warrior. Tell me, exactly how did she die? She died challenging her treacherous captain. I killed the Patak. It is good you were able to avenge her death, but she failed. I will not have Doran denied entrance to Stovokor because she died at the hands of a traitor. If you would have me, I would join your crew and fight by your side in her name. My talents as an engineer are wasted here in these warehouses. Let me battle worthy foes! Don't have any choice, but yes, let's have an engineer. You will be a captain worthy of my service. So, and we've got some more armor being given. We are Congratulations, here. Lieutenant. This is war. Something I should know about. Right. So, we actually have an option here with this gentleman to rename him and to change his uniform. The other one we can just change uniform. Let's have a quick look at uniform options that are available so it's interesting that this guy has got red as part of his uniform when the other guy has only got greys this guy being an engineer I don't know I don't know whether there's a significance in that or whether I'm reading too much into it but I'm quite happy with them having the standard uniforms I think but let's just see what is quickly possible I suspect that it's quickly is um, so battle armor here these are the ones quickly S simpler uniform ceremonial armor what's the difference between that and the battle armor oh, more on the body perhaps in the battle armor classic tune uh, that's the say what I'm wearing though it's interesting that they've got, got the riveted trousers uh, I don't think I can actually use this without paying money which I don't want to do uh, cling on now we do have a slightly different one here we so it's a different and again we could then colour that up but I'm not going to go with that uh, and we, there is a scarlet uniform so let's apply that and see what that looks like it does look as though that needs a little bit of colouring up again to get the same because that hasn't changed his trousers and so on which ought to have with that the boots are different as well so some things are going on there but you can go in and you then can alter all of the things in much the same way as we managed beforehand um, and this is where you do that can put the colors so we'll pick up that color so that color is now picked up because we've clicked on it and we will go in and we will put that to be that color so you can see immediately the arms the color have changed and the the body section here it's interesting that it seems to have added some leather armor here it's chest armor in this one which wasn't in the uh, uh, this particular view I'm not it's also interesting that here we still have furry ar uh, arms as opposed to not gonna go with it I'm just gonna cancel out and stick with the standard uh, armor that uh, standard out the uh, uniforms that come with it and we'll exit out we do have the option to re as I say to rename this gentleman we can do it at any point but now would be the time to do it we can't rename the first officer actually we don't have to have him as first officer but the first guy we cannot do Oof. right done so as we leave here I suspect that the prison governor is going to contact us because we've already been given a heads up that he wants to talk to us. That prisoner you 
you dropped off escaped with the help of two accomplices. One was a male Orion and the other a Nasican. The Orion caused a commotion, filing a complaint regarding a prisoner transfer that never occurred, and then kept shouting until he managed to distract the entire room. Meanwhile, the Nasican made his way into the cell block and shorted out the force field controls. Cameras caught him equipping our Federation prisoner with a holo-emitter disguise. The three then escaped into the city in the aftermath. This is not my problem. He was in your care, not mine. This isn't the first time we've captured this prisoner. You're the only warrior who's managed to get him as far as Kronos. Your previous success has been noted, and so you are to track down this fugitive and return him once more. Get to it! Finally, someone who knows my worth. Make sure that Chancellor Jimpok hears of how I helped you. Security cameras got the trio heading north before they were lost in the crowd. You are to search there for any witnesses that may lead us to their hiding location. I don't care what this prisoner knows. He's been more trouble than his value to intelligence. If he happens to die during capture, there will not be an inquiry. I assumed as much. I think I know where we can start looking for the criminals. I'm listening. The Chamber of Judgment is nearby, close to the Lake of Fire. An old judge I know likes to sit near the lake between trials. He might have seen something, and he's no friend to criminals. If he saw them, he will be happy to bring them to justice. Indeed. The Lake of Fire is just outside of the Exchange. With luck, the judge will be there. Good, let us find this judge. Right. We'll be judged. There's the judge who's on his break from the courtroom. Talk to the judge. No sir. If you come to try and carry my favor in the courtroom, you're wasting your time and risking my wrath. We are looking for a trio of escaped prisoners, an Orion, a Norsican, and a human. Jury. I did see such a trio recently, but saw little of it. On reflection, the human was garbed in a heavy cloak, perhaps to conceal his prison uniform. Did you see which way they went? Indeed, they headed north, then west. They may have sought one of the tailors there to acquire new clothes to disguise themselves. North and west of the tailor, then. Kupla, judge. And away we go. Put some speed on. Head west from the courtyard and down the stairs to the tailor. Nice to have these guidelines. Right. These others ask about the escape prison. The stranger with the Orion and Nausicaan? Yes, they were just here. They made a quick purchase and then made their way to the bar to the west. Speaking of new clothes, I could outfit you and your crew in the latest in Klingon fashion for the right price. Come see me anytime. So this is an Orion, another uh, allied race. Right. Orions are normally seen as pirates. Does that has offended some? Ask about escapees at the bar. Talk to the bartender. What can I get you? Information. Looking for a trio: a human, a Norsican, and an Orion. Ah, yes, them. They asked about another Orion. 
a fixer named Garot, then headed downstairs. Syndicate business, I'm guessing. Anyway, their business, not mine. I will check downstairs then. And away we go downstairs. Talk to Gerard. Stranger and Ryan and a Nazi. <laughs> Reminds me of a joke I heard once. <laughs> well, yeah, then again, perhaps this isn't the time for such things. You know, I did see such a group. They went into the back rooms right over there. Behind those doors. Always happy to help warriors of the Empire with anything they might need. Good hunting. It's good to see that citizens are the first city who know where their place is. Right. Be nothing has changed. Uh, we're about to go in here. Enter the apartment complex. Yes, we're going to take all three people in. We have no real choice at the moment. Don't even have the option to not take them. Um, We should check them. See where our quarry went. So, our engineer has set up a medical generator. Not much point there, but uh, I have no real control over him. So, can we go into the doors? No, nope, nothing in the doors, though that was interesting. Nothing here. That's where we came through. Anything up this end of the corridor? No. Nope. Down we go. Let's go to a firearm rather than. That is a suspiciously new console for an old building. Right, I'm going to quickly contact the ship and change my weapon for my rifle. Override security. Short range, very much shotgun like in all fairness. But short range and Spies have set incendiary devices to cover their tracks. We should disable these in case they are set to ignite later. Right, so. Do what is being suggested. Take the. Or do the. I can see up here there is some. Oh, loot. And it would appear that you've created a shield generator in here. Possibly that was of more use. Let's resume our shield search for the human Shield generators actually don't provide that room in the back a looks shield like a good as place much to start. as uh, regenerate the shield that you're in, if I remember rightly. Right, so defeat the master spy. Uh, you can see the green arrow in the top, uh, in the map corner. Up here you can see... The there was a green arrow that's now turning into a circle as we get closer to it, telling us in what direction we need to go. Aim. <laughs> You're too late. You may have defused the bombs, but your quarry is long gone. It's too late for you.
right. Interrogate spy. Spying on the KDF from within First City itself, you're looking at a lifetime of pain and suffering. Tell me what happened to the man you broke out of prison, and this uh, won't get any worse with uh, for you. What do you think of this, Koch? Hey, Han. Kekan. He's not talking. Probably trained to withstand torture. We're not going to get anywhere with this one. Start with a search and uncover how the prisoner escaped. KTF security is on their way. They can take this Bachtag to the infirmary. Right. Anything to know at this end? Tried that door. We've got one more door to go. And of course, it opens. Oh, he's waving at us. Bit late on the uh, throwing, even though I was hitting the. Right, so. Quick. Get information from the console. According to the logs, the last transport was to the shipyard in orbit above Kronos. If we don't hurry, a prisoner could easily secure passage out of the system. I recommend we go to the shipyard at once. Leave the safe house. We need to make our way to the transporter pad to beam to the shipyard, Captain. Right. Away we go. Up the uh, flight to the bar. And out. Uh, we could pick up a mission here on the way. But for the moment I'm actually going to ignore that and... No, actually I'm not. I'm going to take that so it's there in the log. Defense of the Empire. So we're going to go take the tutorial, welcoming the Federation. Klingon is never satisfied with fighting the same fight. True Orions venture out of the universe and find new challenges. Right, so we're going to accept that. But not immediately because we have our <laughs> up onto the pad. It's amazing how our, uh, col our companions are not with us anymore. Beam to the shipyard, not to have any option at this point in time. Things, more options will come in and... Right, so we don't actually need to speak to the transporter chief at the moment. We're going to try and find out what happened. And of course, you should say... Are you interested in buying a slightly used ship? More interested in if a human just passed through here that fits this description. Oh yes, just minutes ago. I sold him a shadow. He seemed in a rush to leave. Didn't think anything of it. I assume he's wanted by the KDF? In a manner of speaking, yes. I need to track him down. Lucky for you. I kept a copy of the transponder code of the shuttle he just bought. And I will give it to you at no charge. In fact, since you're going after such a dangerous fugitive, let me throw in this technical manual. The spec should help your tactical officer to be able to eke some better performance out of your ship. Just to show you which side I'm on. Kapla! And glory to the Empire, right? <laughs> You're smarter than you look. Captain, we found the transponder signal. Standing by to beam you aboard and begin pursuit. Beam to the ship. Right, so... I'm disappointed he was able to get off Kronos, but not surprised. He's a slippery one. Do what you need to do to bring him back. 
You have his war betrayal, so I begin with that. Congratulations, you detective. 